everyone, I'm Sandy and welcome or welcome back to my channel and uh, I am very excited today because today I'm going to be talking about my February reading plans and uh, I'm excited because February is the first month for my Thousand and One Book Club. If you're not familiar with the book club, I'll leave a card up here for you where you can go uh, watch the video where I select all of the books for 2022, uh, but February is the first read. I'm very very, very excited. I have a Discord server all set up. I'll leave it linked in the description for you below where you can go and uh, discuss the book or whatever else you want or post pet pictures or share your content if you're a creator. Uh, but I have left that linked in the description for you as well. There's no requirement to join the Discord server if you want to read the book with us. Uh, you can just read it and then uh, hopefully follow you can just read it and hopefully follow along with others uh, who may or may not be making videos about the book. Uh, so the book for February though, and I have a stack of books here of all the books I'm going to hopefully read in February. Um, one thing really quickly before I get started is some of these books may be subject to change because I am judging, I signed up to judge the book two prize and I don't know yet if I'm judging round one at the time I'm filming this video, which is the 25th. I don't know what books will be on the list. So some of these books may have to switch out depending on what I need to read for the book two prize because that will be the priority to make sure I fulfill that commitment uh, as well as my book club pick. So having said that disclaimer for you, let's jump into what I actually do have scheduled. So for the book club, that is The Sea, The Sea by Iris Murdoch. And so this won the Booker Prize in 1978. It will be my first Iris Murdoch. I have heard that this book is supposed to be very, very funny, and I can't wait to dig into this. I did set up a weekly schedule in Discord if you uh, if you want to follow and try and read a certain amount of pages per week, it basically works out to write about 100 pages per week, uh, which is the uh, up through History 1 for the first week. I believe uh, the second week is through History 3, if I remember correctly. Yep. And then the third week will be through History 4. And then the fourth week would be History 5 to the end of the book. And so there's no, you can read this book, obviously, at whatever pace that you want to read. I don't know if I'm going to take the full four weeks to read it. I, I might read a little bit ahead in order to be able to kind of comment in the Discord. I don't know what videos I'll be doing about it yet. I will I will plan to do some type of a video for it, but The Sea, The Sea is my first book for February and my first Thousand and One book club pick. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Um, I'm having to hold myself back a little bit from reading this one <laughs> right now, but that that is the first one. Like I said, you can go and uh, join the Discord or consider giving me a subscribe um, and look forward to hopefully you joining me on this read. The next book that I have is on the 1001 book list and it is a buddy read that I will be doing with Britta Bowler and it is The Red Queen by Margaret Drabble. And so the back of this one, I'll read a little bit of it. It says, on the cusp of a trip to Korea, Barbara Hallowell receives an unexpected package with no return address. Inside, she finds a centuries old memoir by a Korean crown princess that details the mysteries of the Korean court as well as the dramas that left the princess childless and her husband dead by his own hand. Ooh, I have never read a Margaret Drabble before. I was intrigued by the title of this one, if I remember right. This one is actually one of the newer books on the list. This was published in 2004. And so I think it'll be a great one to read, especially to read it with Britta Bowler. I always enjoy Buddy Reads with Britta. Um, but this is the second book off of the countdown that will be in my February reading plans. And then um, I'm gonna deviate from the 1001 list a little bit now. Uh, so the next book I picked up 100% because of the title. It's Red Queen by Victoria Aviard. Why did I pick it up? Because I'm reading The Red Queen and I wanted to read another book called with the same title. So I'm really excited to pick this one up. Um, it just says Mare Barrow's world is divided by blood, those with red and those with silver. Mare and her family are lowly reds, determined, destined to serve the silver elite whose supernatural abilities make them nearly gods. 
odds. When Mare accidentally discovers a power of her own she didn't know she had, the Silver King is forced to hide the impossibility of her power and pretend she's a long lost silver princess betrothed to one of his sons. Sounds very dramatic, uh, but I am. I think this one will be a fun one. I think it'll be a nice, just kind of light, easy read. I'm hoping if you've read this one, let me know. And yeah, how fun. Red Queen and the Red Queen all in the same month. So that is the next read. Uh, my only other buddy read that I have scheduled in February is with Nikki at Red Dot Reads and Margaret Pennard. And we will be reading Transcendent Kingdom by Yaa Giasi. And so this one, I believe, is published in, I want to say 2020 and has, I have to change the page. Yep, published in 2020, and it has had you know, a lot of buzz on the book, um, book on the booktube. Oh boy, on booktube. <laughs> so I'm not going to talk too much about this, but I'm very excited. It'll be my first buddy read with uh, Nikki, and my second with Margaret, and I can't wait to get to talk to them about this particular book. So that is my third book, and then. As part of my 2022 reading goals, one of the things I had said I wanted to do is read at least one nonfiction book a month and one new release a month. And so for the month of February, I have a nonfiction book selected and it is Fox and I, An Uncommon Friendship by Catherine Raven. And so this particular book, I believe I got it because of Steve Donahue's blog as one of the top nonfiction books of 2021. And I can't wait to read this one. Uh, I'm really hoping this will be my book club pick for my work book club. Yes, I have more than one book club. I know. Uh, that one is a shared responsibility. <laughs> and I'm really excited about potentially picking this one up. It is about her time uh, when she befriended kind of a mangy fox. And I cannot wait to read this one. I think it's going to be fantastic. Uh, but yeah, that will be my nonfiction pick for February. And then my new release one, I have a pre-order. I pre-ordered a book, everyone. That's incredible. I don't do new releases and I was so intrigued by this one, but I don't have it yet. So I'm not going to quite talk about it yet. Maybe it'll be my new release in March, but uh, so that was a side tangent. You didn't need to know about the one that I selected for February is uh, Matrix by Lauren Groff. And so this particular book, I don't know much about it as well. I've seen this cover. I really love this color I, cover. I really want to take the Barnes and Noble sticker off and I won't do that on camera because this one's not coming off as easy as some of the other ones. This one I also saw on Steve Donahue's channel, which is the main reason why I bought it. It was published in 2021. And so one of the things I'm not sure is like, what do you consider as a new release? Is 2021 a new release or should it be something that was published in 2022? I don't know. But for right now, this is the one that I have on the list. If I'm judging fiction in the booktube prize, this is the book that will get swapped out for whatever I have to read uh, for the booktube prize. But right now it'll stay on the list. And that's it. I know. I, I uh, One of the things I had said again in my 2022 goals was to try and have a bit more balance, to try and uh, slow down my reading a little bit because it kind of took over. And I really loved January that I could just pick up kind of whatever I wanted and not to have too many things planned. So I do still have, which I don't know where it went. Oh, I do still have the group read of The Mirror and the Light. We're still doing that. You can see there's a couple of bookmarks in there because that's where I need to be in a couple of weeks. But it looks like we'll finish this in February. So that part's really good. Um, and then there's a book for Christy Fest, which I can't remember what it is right now, but uh, that would be in the first week of February. But yeah, I really liked having the ability to kind of swap things in and out or pick up a book by reading the first paragraph, which was really fun. Uh, and yeah, I don't know. So, you know, I only have two books from the 1001 Book Countdown on my official TBR. I have a stack of four sitting here, um, right here. And depending on how many, I, I'm planning on reading at least one of these this week, uh, the last week of January, maybe a second one, but it really depends. And um, that's all I have scheduled to read as well. So, yeah, it feels a little weird to have just so few kind of books stacked up, but it gives me a lot of room for the book two prize. It takes a lot of pressure off and I have a couple of buddy reads, which I love. And yeah, that's really it. I did a reading plans video at the 10 minute mark. <laughs> I mean, what? So if you're, if you want to see it again, 
that's the stack of books that are on the official list. If I can hold them straight, I can't hold things straight. Uh, that will be the official list. And then whatever else I pick up from the 1001 book list, uh, you do see over here, there's still a stack of books there. Those are kind of like my first ones that I, a lot of them I read the first paragraph of, uh, first paragraph, paragraph of uh, for a video recently and then picked a book. Uh, those will be my top ones if I'm looking for something not in this pile to read and hopefully work my way through those before I go and pull like a whole nother list, which I also like to do. Yeah, I feel at a bit of a loss. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but I think for this week, the priority... I think for this week, the priority will be The Violent Bear It Away, which is for Flannery of January. I really do want to re finish reading this. Uh, so hopefully I get to that this week. And then we'll see what other 1001 books I add to my list, depending on how I do. But, uh, ooh, sorry hit my microphone. And that is all for today. So as always, like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, everyone. Thanks. Bye.